Hey everybody, I'm Karina and welcome to today's video where we are going to show you some amazing compound options for a lower body. So stick around and we'll show you what we've got in store today. What's up you guys? How are you? Welcome back to my channel Fit Me Plus 3. If you're new with us, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification button so that you can be with us a couple times a week as we bring to you different tips, tricks, and all of that that is combined in health and wellness. Don't forget you can visit our website which is fitmeplus3.com. We have some amazing things coming through on the website as well as monthly newsletters. Love to have you and subscribe to that. You can also go and follow me on my daily journey on my my Instagram, which is fitme underscore plus three. And in today's video, I am excited because you guys know how much I love a lower body. And so in talking about the different things um, that are super important when it comes to lifting, form, and everything that you're trying to do to accomplish your goals, it is important to know that you have to do certain types of exercises in order to achieve certain types of goals. So if you are looking to just thin out, but you're not looking to build muscle, yes, it's okay to do a lot of cardio. But if you're someone like me, you guys know how important it is for me to be strong strong, to feel strong, to look strong, to be fit, uh, and those types of compliments that I love to get from other people. It is really important that you are doing compound movements and not just single exercises. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a lot of different lower body workouts when it comes to the different types of squats, different types of deadlifts, uh, and incorporating the different things, of course, in my home gym that I have that you've watched me build. And I can't wait to show you. So let's just show you what those exercises are this week. Let's talk about form, how important that is to make sure that you are always safe. And then let's get strong together. So today we are going to be working our lower body and doing that with a combination of weights, barbells, um, and then just some body weights. The first exercise that I want to talk about that we're going to do is we are going to pulse squat in place with a pivot. So the easiest way to do this is to get to your place of comfort without any discomfort and with your squats, of course, and your feet being hip width distance apart a little bit further out if you need, like me with my back injury, I can't keep my feet too narrow, but that's just me. Keep your toes pointed forward until we pivot. So you wanna get into your stance here before you do your pulse pivot. So you're gonna pulse down, turn your feet, pivot out and pulse. Go back and you're gonna switch every single time. You're gonna do this for 20 seconds. You should feel the burn very quickly. <laughs> okay. We're gonna use the barbell for some sets of good mornings, which are one of my favorite exercises to target the back of the leg and the hamstring, um, a little bit of the glute as well. So the most important thing with barbell safety is that you should not be lifting yourself up to get to the bar. So as you can see, the barbell is just underneath my shoulders, which means I have to go under the bar and I will pick the bar up to come out of the squat rack. So especially if you're training with someone and sharing a bar that's taller than you, they can, they're gonna have to suck it up <laughs> with the shorter person. The bar needs to be able to work for the shorter person, not the taller person. Um, when you come out underneath your barbell, it's ideal to take minimal steps. So when you come out, you should step out once and twice and be done. You should not move around more than that unless you absolutely have to. For good mornings, your feet are gonna be a little more narrow because you're not actually squatting. You're only gonna be hinging at the hip, but your knees should be a little bit bent your back should stay straight, core of course engaged. This is going to target the hamstrings and you wanna bend until you feel it. And then of course come back up, doing between 10 to 12 sets, excuse me, 10 to 12 reps, as many as you can without feeling any pain. So we're gonna keep our knees slightly bent, hinging at the hips until I can feel it and back up. Of course you wanna flex, but you don't wanna hip forward. Sometimes people lunge forward, that's not helping anybody. Flex when you get to the top but without flip, flipping forward. You don't have to do this with weight. 
if you are just starting as an alternative, you can do this just with your body weight. Keeping your hands where your bar belt might be, but doing the motion exactly the same until you feel it and pop back up. Okay, so next we're going to follow up with some narrow squats. We're gonna be elevated on a weight. So you can use just about anything, obviously as long as it's sturdy, um, to keep your feet up off the ground, toes down, and you're going to keep your legs together. Of course, you don't want your legs to go out, you don't want your knees to bind, you just wanna keep them together as you squat. And so in this instance, of course, your knees are probably gonna go over your toes. That's usually a big thing that people say about squats, but in this, it's a little bit different. So it's a simple squat, but you should really feel this in your quads and go as low as you can. I personally feel it in my knees. So we're back at the barbell. Um, in this instance, we are going to do some Romanian deadlifts. So I typically don't like to, excuse me, I typically don't like to move the barbell down when I'm doing that if I'm using the same barbell, but that's just my personal preference. Remember this is a pull action, so your hands should not grip the bar here. All four, all five fingers, not four, okay, unless you have four, um, all five fingers should be around the bar on one side to pull as you're holding the bar. <clears throat> I use, of course, this grip to get it off, but I'm gonna push it down, get it ready, okay. Feet hip distance apart. Your stance on your legs as well as your knees should be very similar to your good mornings. And the bar should stay against the body. That's the easiest way to make sure that you're not leaning too far forward. Your chin should be tucked and looking down. You shouldn't be looking up. And you're gonna leave it there so you feel it in the back of the hamstring and thrust up. Keeping your back neutral and your spine while engaging your core so you're not bending. That's not part of the exercise, but however you get your bar back. For this set of squats, we're gonna use a handy dandy kettlebell. We're gonna be using that kettlebell to incorporate a little bit of thrusting and pushing us into the top of the squat and overhead press. Your feet can be a little wide apart, excuse me, a little bit wider apart than normal. They don't have to be narrow, but you definitely don't want them as wide as a sumo squat. We're doing those next. So you're gonna squat down, grab your kettlebell and push up. Squat down and up. Don't forget the other side. Last but most certainly not least, we're going to get into a sumo squat to really target the glutes. Um, and the overall hamstrings and quads. So with the sumo squat, you want your stance, you want your stance to be pretty, pretty wide. Your kettlebell should be right in the middle. That's what we're gonna grab when we go down. So think as if there's like a piece of string here pulling you down. You don't wanna be pushing your booty back. You don't wanna be thrusting forward. You wanna just be going straight down into your squat, grabbing that kettlebell and then coming back up. You don't necessarily have to lock the knees but you want to get a good stance and almost all the way up. Take your hands, get them ready, and let's go. Pulse down, grab your kettlebell, and up. Did you guys enjoy that? 
Have you tried these workouts before? I'm hoping that this is not necessarily new to you, but maybe just tweaked or a little bit more in depth to something you've already done in your workout routines before. I want to make sure that obviously these are educational, helpful, fun. And if you're trying to work out with these and with me at home, that's even more fantastic. Let me know and drop those comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for always being here. I hope you learned a little bit today. I hope it was fun and you're able to incorporate some of these movements into your workout so that you can start building that lower body, getting super strong, really incorporating those comments compound movements that are super important along with form and don't forget how easy it can be to do all of this at home. We will be back with you later this week bringing you some fascia blasting videos showing you how important it is to take care of the outside of your body just as much as it is to take care of the inside and we also will be bringing you a grocery haul because our farmers markets are thriving they are open here in southern california and that is my favorite part about living here and sunday morning so stay tuned come back we will see you next time and i appreciate you as always bye, -bye guys